Oh, okay. This is my intention is this is going to be the final video in this three part series of what I have learned in this past couple months of very, very intense culmination work of going to the bottom of myself. And I'll keep this one more brief. If you missed the first two videos, go check them out. They're on my channel. I'm wearing the same shirt and clothes because I make them all back to back so you'll be able to easily find them. This video, I just wanted to share about the brain and what I've noticed for where the thoughts and these programs are coming from. So quite simply, if you can feel, close your eyes and you, or keep your eyes open and you feel your attention, you'll most often find your attention is pulled into the front part of your head, around your eyes and here. And this is where this identity, you call it ego or whatever you want to call it, the, the per, your personality, specifically your old personality, what, that which has to be reprogrammed and restructured is here this is for me that what i have found now you're more than willing to um, experiment with this and do your own testing i'm just sharing my own findings and for me what i've been called to do is move the attention to the back of the brain particularly the cerebellum area cerebellum is at the bottom base of your skull where just where your uh, spine kind of comes up. It's like the original brain. It's the first brain. And it's interesting that the cerebellum has more, as much or more neurons packed in that little area as your the entire rest of the brain. So the practice is very simple. You take this uh, a mantra or whatever you're working with or just your energy and attention and when you find yourself, your mind's racing, your mind's rolling, it just won't shut up. Pull your energy into the back of the brain, the back bottom of the brain in the cerebellum area. There's a lot of interesting things about this brain. Dr. Ply has called it the God brain. Um, it's, it's a primordial brain. It can control the rest of the brain. It's uh, one of Ganesha's brains. Ganesha is, of course, the primordial primal being which makes sense because the cerebellum is the primordial primal brain. So this is all for the mind, but if you want to experiment and experience this, however you catch yourself having a racing mind, feel where your energy is, and you may or may not feel it falling into the front of your head. Pull it into the back of the brain, the cerebellum, and then also you can connect that with your heart. So you have this sort of where the heart and the brain instead of being two components they become one component it's like a alchemy and this is a very interesting practice that you can do for example in the mornings when you're fresh your mind's kind of quiet and you get up maybe a little bit early and you spend time building this pathway and this is to for a course for during the day it's much more easier while you meditate in the morning it's easier to drop into and maintain that state versus getting up and going through your day and going through the same old firing and wiring of the brain that, you, that you're used to, which is created and sustaining a reality that you may or may not want. So if you want to change the reality that you're in, you have to rem remember that the inner becomes the outer, not the other way around. So if you want to change something on the outside, you have to change something on the inside and how you're using your energy because remember your kundalini your spine is energy and it comes up into the brain then it starts expressing itself this part of the brain if you're not paying attention will pull all that energy like a vampire almost and hold it here and this is where all your programs are running from your frontal lobe your persona your persona your identity the identity is the personification of the memory or information that you have collapsed I have this much money, this is my health problems, this is my relationship situation, this is where I live. That identity that personifies all those individual pieces of information is right here. And to restructure that, you go back on the cerebellum, and then your cerebellum will reinform and restructure this. It's really powerful if you can put a mantra back here, for example, and work with it here. So. Putting this out there as an offering, something that I've learned and experienced and field tested, if you want to give it a shot, by all means, 
And if you do decide to give this uh, an experiment, I would recommend you do it for at least two to three weeks to give your, yourself time to build the pathways and start experiencing an autopilot. Autopilot is defined here as it's more natural for you to pull, have your attention in the back of the brain, in the cerebellum, than it is to have it in the front. Right now you're on autopilot where it's natural for you to be here. And so you wanna to try to give yourself an opportunity to experience what it feels like to have this more active than this. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, leave them underneath this video. And if you liked the video, give it a like. Wishing you the best. God bless. Oh.